taking Norma to the world. Visiting concert organist Daniel Malt is in Dunedin to play Norma for a UK company that's making a film and to record music to be released in a boxed set next year. The history of the organ is basically representing English history but from a quirky and unique point of view. And in terms of the sound, if you listen to the sound it's quite dark, it's very loud, it's a bit pompous. And it represents, if you like, the Imperial English kind of Indian summer from really the First World War to the beginning of the Second World War. The organ is one of 27 of the world's most famous pipe organs to be featured in the film. Malt says one of the challenges of playing organs is that each instrument has its own characteristics and each time he sits at a new organ he has to learn how to play it. So what we're looking for are organs that represent different builders or important trends, basically from 1700 or so to the present day. And uh, Norma um, is representative of various things. So one thing, for instance, when people think of the organ, they all often think of church. He says Norma is a rare example of a symphonic organ rather than a church organ. The 23-ton instrument was built in 1919 and spent much of its early life travelling around England as part of a vaudeville show. The organ was later enlarged and installed in Wembley Stadium for the 1924 exhibition, and then at the Tunbridge Wells Opera House, before being shipped to Dunedin and installed in the Town Hall. It also has an interesting history in that, believe it or not, despite that that has 32 foot pipes at the front and must weigh many tons, this was actually a touring instrument. And it, for instance, was set up at Wembley Stadium and places like that, and then ended up being shipped around here. Malt has spent a day learning how to play Norma before filming and recording began in Dunedin, the South Today.